Hey there everyone, how are you here? Long time no see. Um, reason I haven't really been out recording, I haven't found a game that I want to play. Uh, I got this new game earlier called Game Dev Tycoon. I was going to do this nice intro. Let's just create a new company. So yeah, this game basically you make your own game designer company. Um, yeah, so you start off in the garage in your basement and you start programming games back when it was just like PC all the way through the generations and I found it really cool so I'm going to play around so the company is going to be called YouTube yeah, the company could be called YouTube uh, player name obviously is going to be HD64 fuck, I just did a screenshot HD64 mail, let's look at the hands. Uh, I don't guess it's gonna have to be that one. And that. Let's have a search out. Unlock hints. Over the one. This one. Okay, so as I said, you develop games, so what topics we got? Uh so music simulation on PC. And we should call it Rock Hero. So Hero. You go into this, so you say what type of graphics you want, so I want this type of graphics. And then it will you should see you start working on like bugs design. You then when you get to these stages you have to like change what you want to focus on. So I do on the engine, the gameplay, and so it delegates the time that you want for your thing. Yeah, so as you see, AI, you won't get these when you start playing. I've, as I said, I've played, I've got about six hours play time. So, I got all these hints from previous experiences of playing games. So you delegate what time you want to do and it means how good the thing is. I said see I've got seven bugs. If you leave it before you finish it, you debug the game and you can also add attributes to it. So after you finish, you can finish the game. It tells you what you've done with it. And you release it. So then you wait for a bit. Actually, before I do that, I'll just do this. And so your the reviews come through. Ow. And so you see, I've got five, six. And this basically influences your sales in the market. If you get a really good thing, then you get uh, very lots of gains and you earn a lot of money. And it's all about finding the correct balance so first week we sold 2500 units which isn't bad at all and 13 fans I mean 13 people are following our company so as you saw here I did a game report I'll post analysis on thing is Music simulation is a great combination. Level design to be quite important to this type of game. So you get to get um, research, so you can research new topics, vampire, evolution, and all that. But you got all of these. So I might go for an alien action game. So that is a game history. No, not game history. Oh no, I'm doing something. Oops. So you see, you got your money here. And how much you're earning? Almost sold ten thousand. Ten thousand copies of Rock Hero. Uh, let's develop a new game then. We should have called it Alien. Attack. From. 
so that would be aliens action on oh we'll do it on this I don't know what that is same thing and as we go 10,000 units so as you see it's we don't need story quests, they're not that important. Oh, Dave just came on the But engine might be important and the gameplay might be important, so put quite a few times on that. Still going. It's not a bad game. The AI and level design, I think, will be quite a bit on this. Twelve thousand units, eighty-five thousand in them. I think we should leave it like that. Bucket and add that. New records. People are probably going to pick up with my bad spelling, but yeah, I really can't be asked. So as you go on, you will like research new stuff. And so, like sequels you can get, multi platforms, multi genres, target audience marketing also get really good so that actually went quite well so we always I always do a game report because then that builds up my knowledge as I play if I want to start a new company early on I know what works and what doesn't wait look at this that was, that was a good one uh, engine seems to be very important on this so you go and research, as soon as you've got enough for the custom game engine, that's where stuff starts to get really complicated and cool. As you see, Nintendo, well, Nintendo, whatever it's called, is now uh, making a console. So you have to like keep up with the times. Let's do a sports RPG. Let's do an RPG game. Prison RPG on Prison Adventure. And we should call it Escape. There's no S. I think it's Escape. Ah, know, something like that. And here we go. So this game actually did pretty well. So I don't know what this is, so I'm going to try and keep it even. I know that doesn't need that much, so... I'm on bug already. The dialect will be very good. I know that for RPGs, they you really need like good conversations. But here's the time, so I've got like 245 fans, so not bad. We sold 22,000 copies. I didn't debug. Damn it. Oh, I got my graphics up up. So as you go on, your company gets better at doing things. You can specific at your company in certain things. So if you want to see, like, say, Battlefield, you would have lots of graphics and a really good engine. You also get, like, a hype. So, like, you can do interviews later on. It will hype up your company. But I, but I do have enough. I'll first do this. 
using the Tez the Nymphento. Contract work. Alright, this is where if you run a on cash, you can do some contract work and that will give you time to do some catch up on research and everything like that. So research custom game engine. So this way you can actually edit what you want your game to do in a lot more detail than you have already already in this game. That didn't do so good. Ah, oh, well, I'm getting quite a bit of money. Now, with the custom game engine, you can create custom engine. As you can see. Can I research anything new? Not enough RP. Uh, let's create a new engine. I want that, that, and that. So this basically improves your game. It takes a while for like research to complete. One really annoying thing is that you actually get research from creating game engines and the only way you can implement what you get from research you put into game engines. Which kind of sucks. So the Nintendo just got um, released. So I really want to try and make a game on that while it's still on the hype. So I'll do develop new game. Now um, first let's see what we want. Vocab simulation on the test. But the thing is I have to get the license to build game for it, so it costs quite a bit. Now I'll do my game engine one. So now I can do my version two. That just means I get better graphics with being better design, better technology. So it's quite important engine, might be quite important gameplay, not so much in story. We just really need to save game for this, so we'll just uh, go into the red. I didn't name it. Not so much in this. Even though you think a Voco game would want dialogues. Uh, bring that down, put that up, put that up. Just debug for a bit. Oh no, I think we shall name this ABC123 <laughs> ABC123 123 So now I've got level 2 it means my player will be able to make better things Saved it. Ah, fuck off. So I would have got better ratings if I had a better name. Let's see what I get. See, I just like looking at that. Which how many cells you can do. I keep like, forgetting you need to start like downloading and creating two games. Uh, boom, 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 14 minutes. Uh, so I'll show you this. Um, Maybe I can do it. So you time less and I just have to try and get all of these. So as you can see, just did that and I got 18 grand in my account. 
This game didn't do that bad, actually. Quite impressed. So let's develop a new game. Um, aliens strategy on the Tez game engine one, and we should call it Conquest. <laughs> I don't know. That's nowhere near that. But I should finish this episode here, and then by then I would have a name for our new game. So I'll see you there, and like if you want to see more of this series, I would really like to play it. So, bye from me.